had a great adventure um, attending a community event not long after coming to Galveston in which the speaker was trying to describe an event that had taken place in various places in downtown Galveston, various locations over 150 years. And as our speaker showed different slides, this was the first image that this crowd of people saw. Here's a map of Galveston in 1870. The red X is Trinity Episcopal Church. The program that he was describing had nothing to do with Trinity or the Episcopal presence in Galveston, but it was our speaker's way of orienting this room full of people to what we were looking at, to what was north, south, east, and west. It helped me to understand the place of Trinity in historic Galveston. It helped me to understand the fabulous um, witness to the good news of Jesus Christ on this corner, on this city block since 1847. We've been um, a place well known and widely known for the education of children and young adults. The Trinity Episcopal School, a fabulous uh, institution of education here on Galveston Island, runs from pre-kindergarten through the eighth grade. Um, the Trinity School began this 2013-14 school year with an enrollment of 209 children. That enrollment is steadily growing. Um, it's a fabulous uh, place for children. Um, as well, this last year, Trinity welcomed onto our property the independent um, William Temple Student Center at Ministry of the Diocese of Texas toward the community and the students at the University of Texas Medical Branch. Those students um, have dinner with us. They have a student center here. Um, they're here virtually every day of the week. We have also um, been a part of, of welcoming physicians, physicians in training, physicians who are here to teach at the medical school. Trinity's had a long relationship with the medical school community and um, been a voice as well in the formation of those world leaders. After the devastation of Hurricane Ike in 2008, um, a very, very challenging time for the whole city, for the Episcopal community here, for Trinity Church. Um, the entire community embarked on an amazing journey of recovery. And the people who lived here through that experience are used to seeing demolition and rebuilding and recovery. I think that we're at a moment now when we're not looking at rebuilding and demolition and recovery. We're looking at new construction, a new hospital tower, a new gymnasium for the Trinity School, people moving in, new houses being built. And so the city itself is thriving. The downtown area um, is a thriving place to walk through. I see growth in Trinity Episcopal Church congregation in our programs, in new families, young families, Christian formation. We took a group to the diocesan Mission Palooza last summer, nine youth and four adults. Um, many, many signs of new life and new commitment. Um, the people who lived through that have a very tenacious faith. They have a very tenacious way of looking at things. If they didn't, they would not be living on a barrier island. And so their commitment to the Lord Jesus, their commitment to this church and to this community and this island is fabulous. And um, the future is very bright in this place.